Okay, so we've had the Bank of England base rate rise from 0.5%, basically. But what does it really mean? Let's have a look at the loan to values and the rates based on loan to values. So someone with 10% deposit, 5% deposit, 40% deposit. How does it look for purchase products? And I will do one for remortgage products. So like and subscribe, hit the bell icon. So you're gonna start getting these analysis. Hopefully it gives you some insight on where the market's going and we can compare some of the products out there. So I'll catch you on the video. So we've had the Bank of England base rate rise 0.5%. People think it's a shock. I didn't think it was much of a shock. I think it was coming. So let's look at actual product as of today, right? I think some lenders have been caught out by it though. But let's look at, I've run out some quotes today, 9.30 this morning, 9.34 this morning on the system. I've looked at the best rates that we can find on our system based on loan to value, 95%, 90%. 85%, 70%, I think 60%, but this is for purchases. I will do one for remortgages, so hit the bell icon and subscribe, and you'll get that. You'll probably get that tomorrow now. So let's look at the rates as we speak, live, available right now. Okay, so the first option I actually looked at is the variable option, right? <clears throat> now, not many people are thinking about this, but I think it is an option that people should consider now um, and that's a variable option now that could be a discount that could be a tracker that could be all sorts of sort of rates the defining point of criteria around this is no early repayment charge right so it doesn't have an early repayment charge here so um, we look at it 95% mortgage 90 percent 85 so you can see the rates there what i would say is it really doesn't make sense going for this type of product with no early repayment charge and paying a higher rate because if you're on a 90 95 percent even 85 percent uh, deal you could get this sure you might get out of it without paying any early repayment charges but you could be sitting in negative equity if you're taking a 95 percent so it doesn't make sense it really only makes sense if you are comfortable you've got a lot of equity in your uh, property you think rates are going to come down you don't want to be tied into a two-year fix or a five-year fix and you can swallow maybe one or two other interest rate rises so that's where the no erc product comes in let's have a look at the next batch which is the two-year fixed okay this is probably the most popular one at the moment a lot of people are going for the two-year fixed um looking at this guys check this out 95 percent mortgage someone who's got five percent mortgage 599 someone has got a 40 percent deposit sorry five percent deposit 40 percent deposit 5.29 bloody madness i know if i had a hundred million okay i know what type of clients i would like to lend to okay i would lend to the ones that have got 40 percent equity rather than the ones that got five percent equity potential down valuation happening potential negative equity happening potential exposure happening potentially you've got a lot more um issues around affordability so i but the lenders obviously can't see it because they're pricing someone with you know 10 percent deposit to someone with 40 percent deposit not that much not that much so if you have got some money here you know you could you could probably go in the middle and get a decent deal i mean that's 75 percent deal is not bad okay two-year fix all right it's expensive come on guys we were doing these under one and a half percent but it's there and a lot of people are taking the two-year fix because constantly two-year fix has been um, highlighted by the lenders to be more expensive the reason they think is more expensive is because they think rates are going to remain high for the next two years and they will start coming down um, let's look at the next option which is the five-year fixed option right so we were doing five-year fixes for clients probably under one percent about a year and a half ago so uh, this is where, and then the, the best product in the market right now at 60% or even 75%, it doesn't matter. It's probably the same product that goes up to 75%. It's 4.89. So that's by rate. You know, we are a whole market sort of system. However, the system does not equate for some of the lenders out there that just deal, they don't deal with brokers. For example, First Direct. First Direct don't, don't work with brokers. So, but have a look at this, guys. So they think rates will eventually come down but not that much. I mean, I was probably doing five-year fixes six months ago under 
not just after Liz Truss, just I would say two or three months after Liz Truss disastrous sort of stink, we were still doing five-year fixes at 4%. So it has jumped, but we have had some interest rate rises. Um, so that's really the information. What I would say, guys, let's just get here. I'd say, look, I've got to, I've got to make a couple of points around this because it's so important. First of all, don't panic. Okay, do not panic. These are for purchases and I will talk about the remortgages. Hit the bell icon and you'll get the video on this. Don't panic. The, the key bit is there's going to be lots of hyster hysteria around this. It's going to be on BBC. It's going to be on news. They're going to make it and they're going to move on. Right? Your mortgage is going to be there potentially or your buying thing. So don't panic. Okay, These things go through a cycle and it will happen. Right? And it doesn't matter. Now we're, we're in the age of uh, you know internet. You're going to get a hundred videos about mortgages today. Okay, hundred mortgage brokers talking about all sorts of things. But the key is is don't panic. Right? Uh, if you're looking to buy, buy at good price. You can still buy. I, I'm still doing lots of deals for clients that are buying. Trust me, I'm still doing them. Okay, um, there are some people that are going to you know sit it out, put their money away. Fair enough. Um, there are some investors looking to get in, which is interesting, and, and, and I will do a separate video on buy to let and where people are looking to get in and how they're making money on deals today. Today, yes, people are still making money out of buy to let, um, but don't panic. You know these things have come down, gone up. All of these banks have got hundreds of economists, and they've been working on this. They can't get it right. They can't get it right because why would they be pricing these, repricing them? I mean, we've got lenders that have repriced in the last two weeks three times. Okay, that tells me they can't get it right. So nobody really knows what's happening. Bank of England definitely don't know what what's going on. So um, don't panic. Wait if you're seeing a, a property, offer a good price. See if it's affordable for you. It's a long-term vehicle. Hopefully, if you're looking to flip things, it's a little bit different. But if you're buying a property, you know, I've bought properties at the higher the height of the market. I've bought properties at the end of the market. Um, but basically, you know, do your research, get a decent mortgage broker, get a decent product, because these products change today and tomorrow. If you're working with someone who's constant there, who's working with you, then that makes it you know, it doesn't matter which product you go, which rate you go, you're working with someone who's going to try to deliver you the best product for you. Anyway, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about these rates. I'll catch you on the remortgage one. Take care. All the best. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.